Yo, welcome to this week's edition of the FPL show. This is the World Card Show. My name is Enrico. I've got Venant with me and Degs from Box to Box Register. Sindeo? Yeah. Exactly. And today we are going to talk about how to crack it in FPL because Dex over here alikuwa number two in the last couple of weeks in our league. So, he has a high chance of winning 50k come the end of the season. Welcome to the show, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, I've been a fan since the first first game week. Nice. Uh, hey, you guys are getting very comfortable and really enjoying it. Eh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we try. Up and FPL sana. Sana, sana. Sana. Idea yake. Yeah, of course. <laughs> mm. So, it's FPL for you this season. FPL it's it's going well. Like mm. I I think the, the one thing I realized early normally with with FPL is that you try and jump on those trends early. Don't try and be different too early. Yeah. So when I saw Haaland yeah. starting to score, I was like, ah, apana, get him immediately and just captain him because also you don't want to be the person who's not captaining Haaland. You see those two game weeks when you got hat tricks. Anyone who captained him and you didn't even have him on your squad already. Your already have him. Uh, yeah. So the guy had 64 points after six game weeks. Fucking hell. And then all and then your next striker has G30. So imagine people who captain that's 128 points. Clean and, so, and is is the player who has the best form, yeah, most goals, and uh, I think I'm not sure about the most assists. No, yet. most assists is KDB. It's but KDB. game week eight, Likwana Harkin, I captured him. He got more than Harlad. Oh yeah, he did. Last game week, he did. So how do you crack this FPL thing? Like, how do you make sure like you win this thing? Because let's say you are one of the, f- the favorites to win 50k at the end of the season. Um, so I, uh, there are certain rules that I live by. I try and not be too different to Ali. Wow. When everyone is captaining Haaland, you captain Haaland, right? You be, it's better be to stay special. in the mix okay. yeah, up until later. Because people will fall off game week 20, 25. It's easier That's to... That's when I may start catching up now. Like, yeah, so now there'll be people like you, but not people catch up. More people will fall off than catch but up. Every and season I do catch up. Like I start badly, then I do catch up. But you see, you're consistent. Because yeah. many people by game week 60... Now, if we didn't have the World Cup, Yeah. 22 23 December people have gone to Costa so you need yeah, Christmas hey, yeah your Christmas period you haven't changed your team mm. for three weeks three hey, games me, me I'm so keen that period so you see that's why you catch up but you see yeah. now you're in the minority yeah majority of people will do well at the beginning of the season so then catching up is harder yes mm-hmm. you can do it but it's harder okay so jumping on those trends early and then also whenever i make a transfer or i'm looking at a player i'm looking at the next three game weeks minimum i'm never looking at the next game week so I do a lot of heavy rotations, right? So this is a basic cheat code, cheat code in FPL. So whenever you have teams from the same area, so like Tottenham and Arsenal, they will never play at home on the same game week. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you look for the smaller teams. So I look for teams that are relegation places because they do well at home. Yeah. So for example, I'll get uh, Everton. Southampton and Bournemouth. Mm-hmm. They are both from the coastal area of whatever. So they never play on the same day. Mm-hmm. So if I have a defender from Bournemouth and a defender from Southampton or keeper when this one is playing at home that one is playing away then next week i'm switching them sure. wow that's how i managed to get those 4.4 4.5 players and rotate them yeah. right as opposed yeah. to trying to force everyone and then my striker is g archer who's 4.5 and not giving me anything yeah. Yeah. my squad is always balance. the rotation yeah there's rotation like yeah. there's balance and people who play 90 minutes it's better to have people who play 90 minutes mm. than people like da silva who give you three goals the first three games and don't play again. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, so, right. let's look at your team from game week eight. You captain Haaland, obviously, that's obvious. Yeah. A lot of people are him, obviously. Gabriel Jesus, your team, and then Ivan Tony. Yeah. He was against your team. Yeah. Midfield, I can see you are JWP and then Gordon from Everton and Martinelli. Yeah. But at the back now, that's when you went with Persic, Trippier, Nico Williams, Cancelo, and Aaron Ramsdale. Please tell us about your team, like Game Week 8. What, what were your thoughts? So, um, without getting too analytical, yeah. I I actually went and broke down certain teams. So, for example, Leicester was playing um, Spurs. Tottenham, Tottenham, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Leicester one of the weakest set-piece teams. And Persic takes a lot of set-pieces. Yeah, because of Dan Ward. What? Yeah. No, go yeah. on bench. <laughs> He's enabler. <laughs> he enables me. You know, from the beginning, he was 4.0. You have to have him. If yeah. I'm going to everybody, have Ramsdale, everybody, Adam, almost everybody had him. Yeah, hey, but that. that guy is poor, man. Why? Hey, it's, it's bad. Hey, he's hey, one of the reasons why Leicester are doing bad. But Schmeichel did them wrong, though. Oh, Schmeichel did just leave, though? He oh, just nice. left. In but you know, everyone is leaving. It's a lo- but that's a topic for another that's day. A, that Leicester is another, another, another topic yeah. for Leicester um, as to why they are failing this Yeah, season. so Perisic, I knew that set piece potential. And most of the... Most of the attacks were coming in from the left. Yeah, he got um, an assist. 
He got an assist. But he got two but, points, yeah. Yeah, so he got... Uh, no, no, he got. He didn't finish the game. He didn't finish. He didn't get 60 minutes. Oh. And he conceded two goals. He's still ah. struggling uh, for game time in Spurs. Not really. He, I, I think he's the starting He's the starting left wing back. That's okay. for sure. That's the person he depends on. But because of too many games, there's a lot of rotation going on. Yeah. And that's why someone like Sessegnon. Sessegnon was actually in my plans for this week. He considered a goal Sessegnon, but then... But after the Queen thing yeah mm-hmm. so they d- obviously didn't play so perisic obviously was going to play the next game so, so that was my thinking with perisic um who else was there you are the back Trippier, of Trippier and Cancelo. Nicole, yeah Trippier has Cancelo. amazing fixtures from now moving forward like oh, and he's a bonus point magnet mm. 90 minutes bonus point magnet takes all the set pieces yeah and jwp cheap. takes all the set pieces at southampton aston yeah. villa are the worst team they've considered i think before that game it was 27 27 shots from set pieces. Wow. I don't know how I know this, by the way. Just <laughs> but that's a good thing for somebody who owns uh, Martinez because of the saves that uh, eventually... Ramsdale. Can... He's got Ramsdale. No, he's talking about, talk about uh, Aston Villa. Yeah, oh. yeah, Aston Villa. Because yeah. he racks up uh, saves during those opportunities. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, I, I, get, I think it's the people, the, the, the goalkeepers you'd really go for that get a lot of saves are like mid-table. So you want a goalkeeper of like Jose yeah. Sarr, for example, or Ramsdale. Yeah. who will concede keeper. shots but not concede more than or one. Or Ramsdale. No. R- Ramsdale, I'm, we're going with budget. He's a Europa League uh, keeper. That's a premium. He's not a top keeper. He's, he's number one for England. He's not. Number, number one, one for England. Number one speak for. Number one for oh, England. You're telling me what? Best distribution in the league. What oh, league? <laughs> can you go to the Premier League YouTube and see there's a, there's a compilation there by the Premier League of things that you cannot pass without laughing. There's one there by Ramsdale. <laughs> <laughs> Ali Dan, this, is uh, this is it. Ah, this is it. It's okay. Hit. You know, best you know, keeper, best one. keeper, best keeper right now in pre in in terms of FPL is Pop from Newcastle. But in terms of just like generally in, yeah, English uh, playing goalkeepers, Ramsdale is high on that. Big for is higher than this guy, according to Southgate. Are, 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 are you talking FPL? Nini, I'm just as a goalkeeper. As a goalkeeper, Pickford is clear. Ah, I'm as a Pickford. <laughs> Pickford do talk chapa kila mtu. Every time he wants to fight the ball boys, he wants to fight. Me either was But a, me, I won't even lie. This season, he has, he has kind of, he has, he has, he's he looking like a leader. Me, if I was an England, England manager, I would start Pope. Yeah, exactly. What I was saying, bro. Kenya, bro. So you've added from Degs, obviously, is how to crack FPL and how to stay on top. Actually, minimal and a few things from you. I'm going to work on them before you go for the World Cup in November. When you come back, we speak about the manager of the week and the scout selection for the coming game week, which is in two weeks, because this weekend, it's the international break. <laughs> Welcome back to the Welcome Show. My name is Eric. I've got Venant and Dex here with us for the FPL show this week. Remember, this weekend there are no games because we're going to the international break and Kenya's not played because we are still suspended. But it's now time to focus on the manager of the week and the teams of the week. The good company, FPL League. Remember, at the end of the season, talk about your 50K. Number one this week, Alikua Brandon Maingi on mm-hmm. 52 points. He, his team is called the Psychos. He's got 509 points. Number two, okay. I can see this junior. His team is called Wanjapi Cabanayo. He's got 500 points. And then number three is Pace Invaders on 92 points on 496 points. And then number three, this Ernest. And number five, this William Banya, who dropped from, I think, fourth last week. So the manager of the week is Regan Pace. Mm-hmm. His team is called Pace Invaders. He got 92 points from game week eight now this is how his team was looking like he actually played one chip that is the free hit mm-hmm. he captained Erling Haaland mm-hmm. for 12 points like Dex told us that's a good choice and then he had Isaac Isaac nine points Hurricane 10 points so that means now the front line they scored a goal yeah which is really good yeah. now but that's is where now the pick is he had Son me I don't even know how he thought about how that happened then and mm. you told me about Son and I told yeah. you Statistically, he didn't score like in the first seven games. No. Yeah, yes, yes. He exactly didn't score, which is really yeah, you got an assist. This guy, you trust in Son. Yeah. Son, I could start your game. He didn't start. 7, 30 PM. Played for 13 minutes. Yeah. Got three goals and three bonus points. This was an easy fixture for Spurs. Let's all yeah. agree on that. That's why I go Kane. Yes. And he scored, man. Another one. Yeah. And mm. uh, Kane scored last week. We tipped him. I remember me and Zoom, we talked about Kulusevsky and we slightly touched on him. Hey, Kulusevsky was good, Bana. Yeah, he's bringing those crosses. Yeah. 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 So we talked mm-hmm. about Kulusevsky and guys were already 
selling and I was selling I was selling uh, guys like this is the time where Kulusevski will actually yeah, because it, it's because of something. Conte because Conte was trying was starting to drop him since they for Richarlison yeah 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 but so, Richarlison was the was the most whatever forward he was the most active forward he was giving the team the most dynamism up front oh yeah but one thing they did is that Emerson didn't start that game yeah ah. against Leicester yeah, Emerson oh. did not which, start which that was game. A, that was a big word so that was a good pick for his midfield and then at the back he had Cancelo, Saliba, Persic and Trippier and then goalkeeper he had Pope. Uh, Nick Pope. Mm. That's quite a good team by the way for, for that game week. So I hope he continues like that. And what's funny is that you know if, if I, I'm comparing his team from last game week, the mm. game week 6 and game week 8. Yes. It's not that many changes he's made. He just yeah. made like crucial changes, right? So like it. Son, mm. Son came in. Uh, Zaha so came out to put on Son. Yeah, because he still mm. had Bernardo, Martinelli, mm. Luis Diaz is out as well, and then he brought in Isaac for Jesus, and yeah. brought in uh, Saliba for James. Yeah, ah. and, and I mean, Pope for Sanchez. How many points did you get last week? Last game week, game week eight. Game week eight, I got fifty-four points, mm. and my favorite players were I captain KDB. You talked about uh, sticking like if everybody captains Haaland, you go with Haaland. Yeah. Um, different. I yeah. like going this other route. But um, maybe the difference. If because I I on box to box we also do like a weekly show um uh, on captains or potential mm-hmm. captains. KDB was my number three captain because of two things. He scored four goals there last season, mm-hmm. and I oh, think yeah. this season he scored the he had he has the most uh, obviously has the most assists, assists but in terms yeah. of shots. Before that game, he had, I think, 17 shots on target. That's more than any other midfielder. Oh, wow. And okay. the biggest uh, um, XA, like, uh, potential assist. So Do you have him in your team? Yes. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, so box to box? No, he's not on box to box. Okay. He's not on the box to box team. So my favorite players were everyone from Man City, KDB, Canseo, and Haaland. I have those three too. Yes. Uh, Gabriel mm-hmm. Jesus, as once again, uh, yeah. with his consistency. And Trippe with an assist. And that was pretty much it for the yeah. other people. They just blanked. Mm. My biggest regret in FPL is owning the Leicester City goalkeepers. And why that, do you, you have both of them? Yeah, yeah. You're weird. I was, I was no, I'm very interesting. I was saving <laughs> I was saving money in um uh, I was saving funds, basically saving money by having two goalkeepers who are worth eight million. It will help me spend this extra money somewhere else. So that was the logic behind getting these two goalkeepers. But what I did not see is them not keeping a clean sheet and them just... They considered five last game week, game week six to Brighton. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, they did. Yeah. Wow. But now they... they so they those are how many goals back to back? 11. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, but now the good thing is at least... <laughs> hey, they for oh, Even yeah. as you give them four... Pukea, but now you give them four. Hey, those guys are... Ah, but hey, is not a team. Me, my team, but now me, I play nine players this week because... Oh, wow. I didn't play my free eight. I think I had two free transfers, so I brought in KDB and KDB and Ben White because I couldn't afford Saliba, so I got Ben White who gave me a clean sheet. Clean sheet, yeah. And awesome. I had Cancelo and Dean Henderson. Dean, ha- I think he Dean Henderson is from your castle, yeah? No, from, Nottingham. From Nottingham. from Nottingham Forest, yeah. yes. And they've been, I think, they've they've been losing. Their, they've been leading and then losing the games, like the last yeah. two games. They're not keeping clean sheets. He so was so the cheap. other thing with someone like Henderson is he's a very good goalkeeper and gets the saves, penalty saves, saves. Uh-huh. but he concedes way too many shots. Way too many shots. Yeah. You need to get like a balance, right? You get like people like Jose Sai is a good example. But, mm-hmm. but the problem with Jose Sai is Wolves also don't concede. They concede one of the least shots in the league. Yeah. Yeah. But when he when he concedes but shots, he concede. saves, yeah. and then they concede one goal, not yeah. two. So he doesn't yeah. get that minus one. Doesn't so show, it's bro. it's it balances out. So yeah, and the other players for me, Kane was my captain, then Isak up front and Aling Holland. So on the bench, guys didn't play like Sancho and Estupinan because there was no football for those other That's clubs. That's a strong three you have right there. Yeah, so I got ah. seven points. I think that was one of the mm-hmm. highest so far, so good. And that's how our teams were. So make sure you keep playing well. International break is coming. When you come back, we'll tell you the three players to look forward to when football returns on game week nine. 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 Yes. Welcome back to Welcome Show. My name is Eric. I've got Venant with me here and Dex. We're talking about FPL. Remember, there's no football this weekend because of the international break, but we've got a couple of big games coming up on Game Week 9 where Manchester United do play Man City. Hey, that'll be on Sunday, I think, 4 p.m. But before that, on Saturday, Ali Kikov Mtuangu. Ogopa Ali Kikov. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on Tottenham, Yes. We're going to focus on a couple of players that we think that could be really good captain picks for you, Venant and mm-hmm. Dex. 
the first game at kickoff Tottenham yeah. do play Arsenal who are the two names that you think these ones can actually bring some really good points you understand Bukayo Saka Bukayo Saka has not scored this season he has he had two assists he this has last game this season bro yeah, literally okay, scored one literally the uh, moment it's not scored but the scored moment one. that man called Jinx Saddam spoke yeah? <laughs> <laughs> two assists eh? <laughs> two yeah. assists mm? and he has four assists to his name he's He's second on the list of players with the most assists in the Premier League right now. Wow, that's quite good. Four. Mm. Only better uh, only the KDB, only KDB has KDB. two more. So you are picking because Saka. No him. Yes, I'm picking Saka because um there's set piece potential obviously yes. and again any team that plays with a back three the weakest points are either side of the three at the back yeah. which is where Arsenal get tend to do a lot of um <coughs> uh what is it called they overload that area right so they'll put like bukayo and like ben white doing an overlap or something like that yeah. so that's where bukayo gets a lot of space the moment that person gets the overlap gets a lot of space that's how he got the assist for um fabio vieira's goal yeah so i think there's a lot of space to be exploited in that back three especially if emerson real plays and number two um number two i would go for jesus Gabriel, yeah, yeah that's obvious. Yeah. Mm. That was my first pick, Gabriel Jesus, because when you look at Arsenal, we like thrashing Spurs. Yes, you guys, we like thrashing you guys. And our last, our best game last season, remember, it was versus Spurs, where we thrashed them three 0 in the first half. But the remember? most important game you lost to them. Which one? Your most important game of the season last season, you lost to Tottenham. So uh, oh. we've had. But Ish. right now we are focused. You <laughs> it's okay. Right now we are focused on. This upcoming game that's, that's a, at that's a true Arsenal fan. Yeah, Short that's at, uh, M, it's at our stadium, and I expect Gabriel Jesus to score. For you FPL managers, if you don't like, if you're looking for somebody to captain, Gabriel Jesus is that guy. So that's one on my pick. Number two, Martinelli, and that's because when you look at Spurs right now, their weakest link is on the right side of the defense, and that's why you guys mentioned Emerson being subbed on. And uh, you guys, I think even you mentioned about uh, Ses- was it you Sesenyon uh, yeah, not playing well? Costa game, so, Costa goal. So that's good news for us Arsenal fans because that's those are the places where we're gonna score. And Martinelli and um, S- Saka, those are like number two on my list. And lastly, number three uh, for a defender, either between KT or Zinchenko, whoever's gonna start. Zinchenko is not fit. He's not gonna be fit for. He's that gonna game. be available. Trust me. For a defender, he's gonna be available. It was, it, it was just a cautionary it's measure not for Ukraine, so that he doesn't go for international. Break. Yeah, you you you're mm-hmm. talking about oh the Gabriels have this been too, ignored from from, I think, from from Brazil. And I'm not the one who picks the team, but it's that's teacher. a good thing for us Arsenal fans. But it's not good. As, it's not a good thing for them for their career. They need to play those big games. Right now, their career is in Arsenal. That's where we want them to train with Arsenal and to make sure by the time the Spurs come to that pitch, it's another 3-0 in the first half. You cannot beat Tottenham 3-0. Anyway, listen, these guys have told them to talk about Arsenal and Tottenham. They, they spoke about Arsenal Pekiake. For a defender, can I see my defender? Yes. My number three, I'd say Eric Dyer. Eric, oh yeah, that's a good pick. Yeah, but for me, I'll tell you to pick Eric and Son for that game, Pierre. Those are good picks. But for quickly, to no... Son and Ken will, of course, it's gonna like give points, but I think Son and Ken will have more points. But for the final game on Sunday, give me just without even explaining two names from the Manchester Derby. I didn't tell you from Man United from the Derby from the entire game. <laughs> Number one for the umpteenth time, Rashford. Rashford is not fit. He's no, he, uh, I've followed up, he's gonna be available. And number two, KDB. KDB steps up during this big. Uh, big games. games yeah of course i won't mention harland because everybody has harland yeah Debs. but for mm. somebody who wants to kdb yeah. um you know how man you just all of a sudden i don't know what happens to them when they play man city exactly i don't know i i don't even understand so mm. um me I'd, for me i'd go for i'd go for kdb for mm. sure yeah um just because of the potential of set pieces and assists and just the, the spaces it takes like he's he's just too smart yeah i don't know how malasia and nani are going to handle but they'll find a way or i don't yeah. know yeah. um so yeah i'd go for kdb um i'd go for sancho yeah, just because sancho. of the counter-attacking threat like yeah. that is a real thing with manu right now yeah. it's about time we accept they're a counter-attacking team they're being pragmatic that's, but what, they yeah. that's what they are now right yeah, the um and then number three i'll go for cancelo nice i like that pick yeah. We are back next week on Monday 
obviously no not on monday or Wednesday. that's when it's going to premiere we'll be previewing the game week nine because the international break will be coming to an end next week for now enjoy the break <laughs>